Have you ever felt like the Internet Archive runs on sticks and stones and is constantly on the verge of a major security breach? It just happened. That was the ominous message that greeted me yesterday when I visited the Wayback Machine, one of the most important websites in the history of the Internet, because it literally archives the history of the Internet. It's been taking snapshots of websites, including their HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and images since 1996, allowing us to remember the World Wide Web in its peak form, when Amazon looked like this, and weird people made weird websites just for fun. Unlike nowadays, where everybody just chases algorithms on cringe factories like TikTok and Instagram. Unfortunately, the fate of this website hangs in the balance, as it's currently getting pwned, boned, and owned from multiple angles. A data breach exposed 31 million email addresses and password hashes. Its open library lost a critical legal battle. Its website was defaced with some JavaScript graffiti. It's been getting DDoS nonstop, and its current status is offline as we speak. What the hell is going on at the Internet Archive? It is October 10th, 2024, and you're watching the code report. The Wayback Machine contains over 890 billion archived web pages, weighing in at nearly 100 petabytes. It's an unimaginable amount of data. Like, if you look at one web page every second for the next 100 years, you would have looked at less than 1% of the total archive. And this data is practically irreplaceable. The only company that might be able to replace it is Google, but Google recently stopped using its own cached archive in its search results, and now points to, you guessed it, the Internet Archive's Wayback Machine. Now, we don't know if the hackers have access to the archived website data, but if they do, and they might, they have the power to erase the history of the World Wide Web. Before we untangle this mess, you should first know who Brewster Kale is, an advocate for universal access to all knowledge, and the digital librarian who started the non-profit Internet Archive back in 96. The times were different back then. You could buy a house in San Francisco or Seattle and start a company, and the Internet Archive could easily be a multi-billion dollar company, but instead it's a free non-profit service that benefits the world. Not everybody's a fan, though. You might want those unhinged posts you wrote on the Temple of the Screaming Electron to be erased forever. The Internet Archive will remove personal data and comply with GDPR, but some people want legitimate content to be memory hold forever. In addition, the Internet Archive also offers a service called Open Library, which was founded by Kale along with the late Aaron Swartz. It digitizes physical books, then allows one digital copy to be lended out for each physical copy that's owned. It sounds reasonable, but they were sued recently by a bunch of publishers claiming copyright infringement, and the publishers won that lawsuit, which could result in over $600 million in damages. That was a big L, but now let's move to the timeline of the recent hacks. HIBP, which is not an STD, but rather a website that helps people find out if their data has been compromised in a data breach, was informed of the Internet Archive's data breach on September 30th. It's confirmed on October 5th, the Internet Archive gets notified on October 6th, and provide a 72-hour window before making the data breach public. On October 8th, Brewster Kale posts about a DDoS attack occurring, joking about it coming on a Tuesday instead of a Monday, because the Internet Archive Archive has been facing aggressive DDoS attacks, going all the way back to May. He posts again on October 9th, but this time it's a lot more somber. The website is defaced with some JavaScript library, which triggers an alert message about the data breach before it's been officially disclosed. Then finally, as of right now on October 10th, the website is still being attacked and is completely offline. Things are not looking good, but that brings up a big question. What sort of sick, twisted hacker would want to mess with the Internet Archive, and why? Well, a hacktivist group called Black Meta is claiming responsibility, and will continue to attack until all their systems are completely down. And just an hour ago, they posted this crazy video. Большинство людей называют нас хакерами, думая, что мы подростки, прячущиеся за экранами компьютеров. Но нет, мы группа Black Meta. I found it kind of funny because it uses a lot of the same stock photography that I use in my videos. In the video, they say they're not a bunch of teenagers, which means that they're probably just a bunch of teenagers. They have a political message about the situation in the Middle East, which doesn't make a ton of sense because attacking the Internet Archive isn't going to make people like you, which means the only explanation is that it's a false flag. Now, I have no idea who the real hacker is, but I'm sure you're watching this video right now, and I have a message for you. If you let the Internet Archive go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you, I will not pursue you, but if you so much as delete a single website in that archive. I will look for you, I will find you, and I will kill you. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.